<laughs> well, adventurers, have you come here to learn the tale of how I got started in Toastmasters? Well, you're in for a treat. This tale dates back to a time in memorial, a time of 2003, back when the millennia was still new and I was in high school. Ladies and gentlemen, I took what is called the Youth Leadership Program. It was put on by a local Toastmaster club to me. And the best youth leadership program was devoted and dedicated to teaching public speaking skills to high school kids. I know, right? High school kids, public speaking skills. I don't know if that goes together, but it did. And we had a great time. We had a lot of laughs. We learned public speaking skills. And I'll tell you something. This is the public speaking skills that I learned from that youth leadership program for Toastmasters. It helped me get through all my presentations in high school and get me through my presentations in college. I learned all kinds of great communication skills. It really took me forward. But ladies and gentlemen, this is just a preamble to my real journey in Toastmasters. You see, that happened in 2003. My real journey in Toastmasters began in 2015 when I decided that I was going to improve my public speaking skills and become a professional public speaker. Now, I definitely improved my public speaking skills. Haven't got to the professional speaking part yet, but let me tell you a little bit about my journey from 2015 to 2021. You see, Toastmasters is more than just public speaking. And that's a funny thing that people don't get. Is they go, oh, you just go to increase your public speaking skills. Well, no. You learn all kinds of wonderful communication skills. You, you learn how to do impromptu speaking, as you can see as we do table topics. You learn how to craft speeches. You learn how to give feedback. There's so many great communication aspects that you learn from Toastmasters. But there's one thing that we, we don't really promote a lot, and you learn leadership skills. And that's where my confidence as a person, well, as a, a person, as an adventurer, and as a silver-tongued bard really began to take off. Because it's one thing to stand in front of an audience and speak. It's another thing to be able to lead others and to teach others that skill set. And here at Toastmasters, we help you to become better public speakers and leaders at the same time. And while you're going through this whole journey and this whole process, you'll level up everything about you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, fellow adventurers, I could go on and on and on and on about how great Toastmasters is, but I want to tell you how great Dungeons and Toasts is. We're a Toastmasters club that's dedicated to role play being that we are a theme-based club. Now, I don't know if you've checked other Toastmasters clubs out there. They can be pretty stuffy. They can be pretty set in their ways on how they like to do stuff. And a lot of them, some, well, I would say all of them, but some of them don't like to have fun. And here at Dungeons & Toast, we love to have fun. We love to, every aspect of role play. We love storytelling, everything about it. You get an opportunity to be surrounded by fellow adventurers. And at the same time, you get to grow your communication skills, leadership skills, public speaking skills, you name it, under the disguise of role playing. Can't say no to that. It's, just, it's secret growth or stealth growth. So I encourage you all to sign up for a membership today. Join Dungeons and Toasts.